We recently had the opportunity to work on a video that was the most technically challenging video that I've ever worked on in my career. We were brought on by an agency called the Upwell Group to work on a Cobra ad. And this one had a really unique challenge and concept to it. But before we dive into that, let's watch the full video here. So I'm gonna walk you through this whole video in sections, but first I wanted to talk about the general concept. So when they came to us with this video, they told us that they had an iron that was made up of different components and they wanted to show it breaking apart into those different components, sort of an explosion. And they didn't wanna do that with a 3D rendering, which honestly would have been the easiest way to do this, but it probably would have been a decently expensive way depending on which company or route they chose. So we had to think through creatively how we would be able to do this. Not only that, they wanted to have stylized shots of the irons and then transition from those irons to the course, showing the iron in action. So this whole ad started on beauty shots. We wanted to show off how clean and sleek these irons looked. And so unfortunately I didn't do a good job of getting BTS on this shoot, but we filmed it here in our studio and we set up a tabletop. We used these big white diffusions on the side of the table that we clamped on. We shot a lot of light through the sides and then we would use negative fill, these different black cards and that we would put in different positions around the clubs to make sure that as the club rotated, it would give good reflections and show it go from dark to light on the club. We decided to film these beauty shots two different ways. We first put a white background behind it so that we could just use that if we wanted to have a nice clean look. But we knew we were probably gonna replace the background as you can see in this video. And so what we did is we shot everything on a green screen as well. We shot it in 60 frames per second. So we also had some leverage to slow it down if we needed to. But we also wanted to add some 3D space to the image. So we added some different flares and lighting effects over the top of the club so it would cover different sections. Another reason this was helpful is when you use macro shots, especially on clubs and stuff like that, there's a lot of little imperfections that are on those clubs and it's not nearly as easy as a photo to touch up. So we would use those in specific places to make sure that the club looked as clean and beautiful as possible. From nine to 16 seconds is where the most technical challenging problems of this whole project came into play. So like I said, they wanted to show the club exploding out into its components. Again, a rendering would have been the easiest way to do this, so we had to be creative. The first concept we had was to take a clear acrylic and we would line up each component on there so that when it was facing towards the camera, it looked like all the components were actually just one club and then you would either rotate the camera or more easily rotate that platform and then you would see all those components to the side. But it posed a bunch of challenges that honestly, it wasn't gonna look as good. So that's when we decided to shoot each individual component on a green screen. Some of these components were easier than others. The small components we could use, the acrylic that I was talking about, and use a putty underneath it to get it just in the right position and then do a full rotation of that. Rather than rotating the completed club, we decided to take a photo of that because we knew we could make that as polished as possible and then fade in from there into the rotating things exploding. And so we built out all of those things in After Effects all the different layers and as they exploded, the photo disappeared. So it went seamlessly from a full club to the different components. Now, a couple other challenges were they had different things that they added later. Originally, we didn't decide to do the weight exploding out, but then they decided to add that in. So we had to add that in later. The foam insert was also challenging because it doesn't actually have 
an individual piece. That foam is injected into the club, and so it's not something you can easily just get a piece from. So they wanted to show that it actually had foam, but it was a plastic molded piece. From 17 seconds to 19 seconds, the top-down overview view of the club coming back together, this one was much easier. It still took a bit of work, but Mike from Upwell Group is also an incredible product photographer, and he did some top-down photos for us. We made sure that all the components were at the right angle, and honestly, it took a bunch of testing, and we shot everything, and then as it came close, we had to do some interesting masking to make it look like the pieces were actually going into the club and not over the top. And then we took the final image of the club and again, as it came in, it would morph into that final image so that it looked just perfect. So that next little section where it transitions to the golf club going down onto the grass, the original concept was to have the club up against the sky and then the camera would follow it all the way down to the grass right at the ball. But there was a lot of shake in it. It didn't look great. And when we did the transition between the two from the in-studio side to the other side, it just didn't look natural. There was jitter to it. And we decided to just make it move into that transition. So it faded as it was just transitioning to the grass. And it felt a lot more natural that way. After that transition, we go into the payoff, which is that sweet, sweet slow motion. We rented the Phantom Veo 4K camera. We're able to shoot at a thousand frames per second and just really show this club shining in its element on the golf course. And then we ended with the Cobra logo animating. The first thing is pre-production and testing is critical for this kind of project, especially if it's a concept that you've never done before. Before we even got into the actual production phase, they had us do some testing to kind of do a proof of concept to show that we could actually make this work. And once we got some buy-in from the client, then we were able to light things more professionally and really bring it to life. The second thing that we found in this is this kind of work, doing green screen intermixed with a bunch of different layers of overlays and animations, text, is really draining on the computer. And so you wanna make sure that you have a computer and a hard drive that can actually handle working in that kind of environment. It's not as simple as just rendering out a normal 30 second video you really need to make sure you have time to render out each section. And for us, sometimes when we had one section we were working on, we would render out five seconds, send it to the client, get buy-in on that, and then work on the next to make sure that everything was done seamlessly and as quickly as possible. And lastly, what we learned is to be gracious when it comes to critique and changes. There were a lot of different people and voices in this project, and there were a lot of different opinions on how to make it look best. And what I've found is, yes, there's sometimes that changes happen with clients that you wouldn't do or that you don't love, but usually that communication, that iteration, that working with the different clients allows you to come up with an even better product than you created in the first place. All right, this was our first breakdown of one of our videos. What did you think? Do you want us to create more like it? Let us know down in the comments. And for those of you who are interested in that Phantom Veo 4K camera, make sure you check out this video over here to learn more about that and check out some of our other videos down here. We're so grateful that you come and watch our videos and we will see you in the next one.